The Holy Mahjong War is a mysterious war that starts every few years. Diviner, teacher, caster, gunner, dancer, brother, and sister. The seven Yanchi with the above code names will soon start fighting in a war with an omnipotent wish granting device. That's all I know about the Holy Mahjong War. Do you three little lost sheep have any other questions? <laughs> we? Why would we have questions? It's more accurate for us to say we don't understand anything at all. Before saying anything else, could you tell us who you are? Oh yeah, I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Lily Kitahara. As you can see, I'm a nun of this church and the personnel responsible for the Holy Mahjong War this time. It's my little sister Kuro and my friend Miyu. I'm your older sister. Let's uh, stop the pleasant exchange of self-introductions. Please tell us why you're here, Miss Nun. Ilya and the others have no memory of how they came to this church, and even their memory of what happened before they arrived is a bit vague. What's more, they feel a sharp, stabbing pain in their brains when they try to recall those memories, as if those memories have been sealed. I have this strange feeling. Did we enter a mirror world without realizing it? Oh dear. Alright. Can we... on with the story? <laughs> You're a straightforward child. So demanding. Indeed, this isn't the Fuiki city you mentioned. As for what happened to you, and how you came to the Wanhan City, I'm afraid you can only ask the omnipotent wish-granting device. I really don't know the details either. But the majority of those summoned are here by... guided by their wishes. And you should be no exception. Omnipotent wish-granting device. Definitely not cursed. Can this exist? Have we ever seen the movie Aladdin? How suspicious. Alright. Win the Holy Mahjong War, and you'll naturally be able to see it. But you don't seem to have a Jiaoqi card, which symbolizes your eligibility to participate in the war. Oh no. Enter the gotcha. Oh, they've all been issued. Your SOL. Could you make some extras? Oh no, we got- oh. Who's there? Alright, a woman with a kind face walking toward them, waving a card in her hand. I was thinking of returning this card to Miss Kitahara and withdrawing from the competition. Since you need one, I'll give it to you. Alright. Nice. Who are you? Aina Kisagari. Kisaragi. The school nurse. Uh-huh. Are you sure this is permitted? Don't you have any wishes? Yeah, but, you know, the wishing device that's all omnipotent and such, it's cursed, so you probably don't want it, but anyway. Your wish is to sleep in until you wake up naturally every day. <laughs> and meet a compatible lover. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, okay. Whatever. So. Can we. Is there anything. Okay. What kind of war is the Holy Mahjong War? Oh, you know, it's a war and I can't tell you anything about it right now, because then we won't have anything to tell you later. So... Alright. Um... Sure. Magic abounds. This is the Holy Mahjong War, so you'll be playing Mahjong. Duh! Alright. Mm-hmm. How do you play? Oh, well, you see, you want to get these triples and sequences and the pair and this other thing, a Yaku, and make sure not to Chombo and... Okay, whatever. 
so yeah, everyone in the city knows how. You just oh wow. The school nurse is gonna teach us how to play Mahjong. Mm-hmm. Alright. Another round of self-introductions, and finally. Oh, this is beautiful. Seem happens to be a holiday today. So the four of them go to a random classroom to start their last-minute Mahjong tutorial class. But a classroom's not going to have a square table. Wouldn't a cafeteria be more conducive to learning? Okay, whatever. When oh, dragon tiles are used as door indicators, what's their corresponding order? <laughs> uh, white, green, and red, yeah? Uh-huh. Alrighty then. Compared with the number tiles, the wind tiles, some people tend to forget the order of the dragon tiles and at least reading the Dora. Need to remember this order. When another player calls Richie and you need to defend, what's the order of last discard safe tile, Suji, and early turn outer tile? In terms of safety. Uh, wait, okay, I feel kind of dumb on this. Obviously, last discard, like, you know, if you see something in the discards, those are immune from Ron due to whatever the heck the rule is called. Um, but yeah, is Suji really that much safer than the outside tiles? Is it a huge difference? What kind of a difference is it? Mm-hmm. Safest options, the last discard safe tile. Well, by Suji, and then only then consider playing outer, like, terminal or otherwise outer tiles. I mean, I've done that, but I don't know if it makes a huge difference. Does it? I guess it does. Or they wouldn't have mentioned it. Okay. It's a, ask me these questions three. Bridgekeeper, I am not afraid. When calculating the number of foo, which one from sumo, single weight tenpai, and double seat win janto does not count as two foo? Uh... I would think that the double seat wind would not count as two but four or something? Yeah. <laughs> Under special rules, it can count as two. Okay. So, yeah. That's cool. Going home. You know, I think it could be fun. Sometime, I would like to just participate in some sort of scoring event. And not worry about, like, actually competing, but just practice scoring hands as some sort of social exercise. Cause, like, experts get it, and I very much do not. Um, and it's just really a question of coaching and motivation, because, uh, anyway. Do, 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 there's, wait, there's matchmaking for the Battle of Incantation? Okay... You can also complete event missions to get mana. You can claim magical rewards. And story review. Okay. So that's that. Does this have a entry cost? Okay. Does this have an entry cost? Uh, you get mana. Wait. Okay, there's not a minus score. As best as I can tell, you don't... Exchange rate. Okay. So, there's an entry limit of 5,000. An entry fee of 1,000. These are not ranked. Jeez. Um... Okay, 
so you need copper to play this. Uh... Oh, alright. So we've, we've done the story. We cannot claim the magical rewards. Is there anything... Ep okay, there's... If we get 2,000 mana, we get a background image. Um, is there anything extraordinary that someday might be available here? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of rewards. There's a summon scroll. Okay, so they've not done anything evil with this in terms of, like... If you play the ever-loving crap out of this game mode, um, there's not, like, some mega ultra-epic reward involved. The best reward in my mind, other than the Summon Scroll, which theoretically could get you, like, stupidly amazing things, uh, this illustration, uh... Alright, this illustration seems to be the permanent reward of the event, uh, and they've not made it impossible to obtain, so I don't have to go blitzing out everything. Okay, so here's how you get mana. This is a daily thing, evidently. All? Every day for two days. Play either a ranked match or a battle of incantation. Um... Okay, there's probably going to be one that's like, play some stupid amount, play every day, for all time. Win a hand twice. Uh-huh. Well, if there's a play every day thing, let's make an effort to play. Sure. How bad can this be? Now, I'd seen somebody had made an attempt or had live-streamed part of their attempt at this mode. And there was something funky going on. There was, like, red and blue indicators somehow mid-game. Um, so... We'll see how that plays out. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay... Hey, I'll take that. And now I remember that I'm not in, um... Okay, consecutive draw discard. Consecutive hand... Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we practiced. Okay, that's the safe tile. Now what? <laughs> uh... That's safe, right? Oh, consecutive! Okay. Interesting. Um... Consecutive hand discard... Four. It's really funky. Alright. So we got five consecutive hand discards. Um six. This is not gonna end well, because I'm definitely gonna deal in doing this BS, but it's gonna be funny. I'm gonna lose all my copper. Oh, we're safe. All right. Do 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 do. We do 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh, seven is in no way safe here. Uh. Oops. 
Whatever. Whatever. Uh huh. That was. I got carried away in the music for once. But hey, I didn't deal in. Uh, yeah. All these crystal things. Uh. Uh, they're magical. They're special. Hmm. Okay. Dang. I wanted to go collecting wind tiles, but it ain't happening. A half flush based on wind tiles would have been epic. But I gotta, like, think more carefully. Also, did they score all the little mana stuff based on everybody's magic counts, or just based on their own? Like, I could read the rules, or we could just watch things play out and try to figure out what the rules are from that. Um. Gee. Mm -hmm. Crud! <laughs> Oh no. Um All right. So, like Okay, we're not getting 3 north. We've got 3 pairs. What I really want is another dragon top. Oh my gosh. Whatever. We're not cutting chin. <laughs> Um, it's me being obstinate for I don't know why. Damn. But, yeah, we're gonna hold on to the red dragon for a bit. And pray for a miracle. Damn. So... Uh, okay. Crap. There goes the dragon. <laughs> We've got stuff. It's not entirely there, but this is so close. Thank you. Uh huh. Sure. Just waiting on a red five, you know. Oh, there's the freaking red five. Okay, but still, 5 and 8 have come out multiple times, so they're likely to emerge once more. That's the theory. Hmm. So our consecutive draw discard is now 2. And we'll continue to increase every turn, because we cannot... Oh. Damn. Nicely done. So, because they alternated between hand discards... Okay, they didn't get my gem things. Interesting. Really? Really now? Okay. Like, yeah, I should cut the south wind. Hmm. Well, now somebody's cut it. Hmm. There's the backfire. The only, uh, only reason you'd not cut the eight immediately is out of some stupid hope of drawing. Uh, okay, so we have one and one here for the maximum consecutive count. Um, 
fuck. Whatever. We've got consecutive hand discard of two. That would be tempting to accept. That doesn't help my advance my hand far enough, though. That doesn't help enough either. Hmm, we got four pairs. Uh, I think I'm supposed to accept that. just gonna call Pawn the entire way and hope that doesn't betray us. Uh, cut that. Wait, seven's been cut once already. Whatever. Oh, that is Dora, isn't it? Um, hmm. Okay, well, that's special. Yes, one's been cut once already, but whatever. We're gonna get lucky somehow here. Hmm. Plus, if I cut in this order, that number goes up or increases. Whereas if I'd cut this immediately, then this gets capped at two. Alright, let's do this. Um, yeah, we have to bust this up here, so now we have a draw discard of one. Thank you. Azure bonus. Hanenyan. Whoa. Okay. That's special. Um. We'll cut from the hand. Oh yeah. So there actually makes some sense to hold on to the wind. Oh, well now. It doesn't quite make as much sense. It still makes some sense. But, um, yeah, if I could hit the wind tiles, or if I could hit some character tiles, that'd be kind of epic. Um, so we don't need this wind anymore. Oh, man. We're not going to get a full flush, are we? Uh, that's wishful thinking. Normally you just cut the three, but this silly little bonus here has me having wishful thoughts. So we're gonna do strange discards. Strange discards continue.
Dang. Everyone's collecting characters? Oh no. Uh... This was not part of the plan. How do we react to this? Yeah, no, I guess correctly that I'm not getting a seven. So we're gonna cut those sevens. We only need one pair. Character tiles are still welcome. Khan is still... ridiculous. Oh, I can call this tile? Do I want to? Surely I do. So... That does remove the possibility of Khan, however... Um... It's fine. Come on, please? Please? Pretty please? <laughs> Any of these will do. Alright, we're gonna actually cut... Um, we're gonna break up the streak here for the purposes of trying to get... Um, something that does score. Thank you. <laughs> For Han 30 foo. All right. That's the bird in the hand. Um, we have a disconnection. Hmm. Hmm. We have a disconnection. I sense that they're not coming back. Which works in my favor. We'll just run the table. Um, that might not be good so that might not be wonderful for their copper count. Uh, okay. Gotta cut that. It's too optimistic to have all the dragons. So... Dare we say it? Dare we say the SSK word? Uh... Maybe. Huh. <laughs> okay. I want this tile. Yeah, we're taking it. Alright. Good enough. And we'll just pump up. Well, we can't pump this up unless... No. Looks like we're gonna pump up the pink number then, if we can. Uh... Huh. Oh. Uh, like, I'm not going to ruin my hand over getting these magic numbers up. 
But it is cool to have a really high Han count just from this other statistic. Was this mode invented by this team? Or did this exist as a concept before um, Mahjong Soul got its hands on this game? Because, like, this concept of consecutive draw versus hand discard seems fun. It seems like a lot of fun. Um, and a way to get these bonuses that score stupidly high. Oh wow, that ends the game. Nice. So, uh, yeah, even a player like me can win. I approve. Uh, we'll take it. I was more than a bit pensive about this, but, you know, I just might change my mind. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching, and have a good day!